Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to some more Legends of the Link's Awakening. Last time we went through a dungeon that we created and we had a little, only a tiny little bit of trouble with, um, Dark Shadow Link. We got rid of him fairly quickly though. This time we're going to be crafting a shield. Restrictions 5 hearts. It's a shield because you only get 5 hearts for the adventure part. So you gotta defend yourself, see? There's a lot of space, you you need to fill it here too. Makes for a long, tough dungeon. But hey, when it's done, you get to write your, your name on it. Ah, oh, good reference. Now, let's figure out how I want to design this. I want to have that split that way. Probably. Okay, and let's put the dungeon boss. I guess up there. And let's put a regular chest type thing there. And now to figure out how to make this work. Um. Okay. Um. This is gonna be uh, very interesting, to say the least. Oh my goodness, how do I want to arrange this? How about we go ahead and put something like, I guess this guy over here, a little bit of a split thing here, let's put this one in, we haven't used this one yet, that one's actually uh, interesting because of the wall, I'm not sure if I should put that there, I'm not sure if that's going to work, um, how about we put something else in there just because I don't think it's going to work otherwise. Let's put this one there. Um, let's see. I need a pass-through one here. I guess we can use this one. We don't have to... Oh, wait, it has to... It has to... Oh, it has to has a, have a key. Um... Which ruins literally everything. Unless... Nope. Okay, then. Why is this so complicated? Can it just be attached to a, a thing? That has a thing? Which way is that lock? That way. Nope. Oh my goodness. That one goes up. Oh my goodness. Let's reset because I can't figure out how this wants to be arranged. Specifically. Okay, let's go with. Oh my goodness, this here. And then. I guess we could put another one just here. But I don't think I. No, I, I, I'm gonna have to. Let's just do it. Do it, do it, and it's done. Okay, let's arrange some more things. So we can figure out how we're going to get the rest of this to work. Because there's still two more places that need uh, locked doors, so... I guess we could put something like that there. And that one... There? <laughs> I don't know if I want to keep that passageway there. I guess I could put this one in. That also works. Okay. Let's get a one and put it here. Do we want to pass through? Maybe I want to pass through. We can use this one. Oh, but I can also use that possibly. Maybe I'll wait a little bit longer before putting that one in. I need something going up. I'm going to use this one again. I do like that one. Now. What else can I do? What do I want to do here? Do I want to have that split into four? I might have that one split into four. It's like, uh, four swords. Do I want this guy? What's uh, another option? i do that one. That one's a pretty good one. And one of these. Oh, hey, you're still there. Why is that completely pointless? I guess it's not extremely pointless. But 
but it literally doesn't give you anything. And this is the problem with some of these rooms, that they just, they aren't really necessary. Let's see, how? Oh, too far. I need to remember which buttons to press. That one's a really tough room. Let's do it. <laughs> Why not? Okay, um... Let's put... Let me, let me put some empty rooms in, just because. I don't use them enough. Maybe the less chest gives you higher stuff if, you, if, if, if it's more challenging. Maybe. I actually want to put this one in because it's been a while. Um, how about we try going the other way and we use this this stone thing? I can't remember what it's called. Just because we haven't used that for a while either. Oh, that one's a weird one, but I guess it can work. A lot of empty rooms. That's probably fine. Probably. Now for the pass through, I'm going to use this boss because it's been a while. And I guess something somewhat similar here? Maybe that one. Okay. And then... Something like this, I guess. Just there. And there we go, that's half the dungeon complete. Oh my goodness. It only took a little bit of time. Oh boy. Let's try to get this to work. I'm not sure how well it will. But it it has a, a very specific way that it works, because you usually go clockwise around it, starting off from the bottom. So... Let's go ahead and put something here, and then I need two upper rooms with chests in them, one there, and let's go with this one, this, it's been a while, <laughs> it's been, I say it's been a while, but it's not really, probably, and then that one there, leading up to another room going up, which we can make into a passageway. Let's go with this one. Now, how do I want to arrange this next bit is another question. I think I want up the passage to come out from here-ish. Up there. Maybe. Although this one's a custom room, I think. Although I think we've, we've seen it. It's a, it just looks very unique to every other room that we have here to use. So, let's use it. And figure out what to do here. Let's go with that one there. And I guess this one here. So many options. You could make it you could make a very different dungeon every time you make one. Okay. Let's go with that one there. Now I need to pass through. I could make it a boss. Let me go with the default Moldorm boss. That one's also a, that one. That one's a good pass through, just for a default one to use. Oh, what do I do here, though? Do I make it a boss or do I? No, let's, let's just let's go with the the fish one. Why not? Okay. All that's left is one of these. I could make it a fairy, but I think I want to make it a chest. Maybe. Maybe? I have a very interesting idea for a dungeon, but it's probably not gonna work. I realize my mistake right now. Let's fix my mistake that I made. I forgot that there needs to be a passageway here. Oh, but that one, that was a nice unique one. Let me move it like that. There we go. Okay, let's start figuring out how I want to do this. We're not using Shadow Link for this dungeon because it's a five heart restriction. Let's see, what rooms can we duplicate enemies in? Which one should we duplicate enemies in? Let's do that one. That one. 
Maybe that one? That one. Not sure what's gonna happen if I do that one, but I'm gonna do it anyway. There's a few of these that have uh, anti-fairies in them. And the zappy things on them. But I don't think I want to duplicate any of those, maybe. Probably. So I think that's good for that. Let's put in rupees dropping... Oh, no, I think I'll go change it to the Moldon one. And then... Let's put a Wallmaster there. So that's going to happen. Let's put hearts in there because it's just before the boss. Probably be useful. And I think that's everything that's put in except for bombs. So let's start putting those in. Oh, that's not what I was trying to do. Let me fix that up quickly. There we go. That's all of that. And I think we are set, so let's get adventuring. See how well this works. <laughs> Remember the first time we made a dungeon and how long it took and how small it was? Now we can just fill in entire areas just like that. Oh, right, I forgot about you. Okay, so we need to... Head right first. Oh, I nearly got hit by him, but it's fine. Okay. Those two are gone quite easy. Okay, small key. Do I need to go down first? I think I do. Oh, hello. How, qu how quickly can I beat you with my sword alone? About the same. Okay, no need for a fairy. <laughs> Not even in any bottles either. Since we've only got five hearts, this is going to be very diff different. Okay, and now let's hope that these bombs do most of the work for me. Which is not looking good for. Oh, hey. Hello. I'm going to get out my bombs because I think I'm going to have to use them. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. There's no, there's no way it's going to get there in time. It's so weird. This is quite a shame. Oh my goodness, come on. Come on, game. You can be nicer than that. Probably. Oh, perfect. Nice, great, good. Oh my goodness, game. There we go. One more. How did that miss? Please get it. Please get it. Yes, thank you. It's not going to get there in time. Oh, hello. I don't think it's going to get there in time either. Go, 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 go. Oh, my goodness. It's got stuck on it. Please, just grab it. Ah! Oh, perfect. Thank you. That only took uh, five, six times as long as I wanted it to. And it used a quarter of my bombs. Small key. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Will I get better rewards from the chests? <laughs> well, it's looking good so far. Since there are less chests in the dungeon. Oh, 
That might be good or not. Wow, that's sad. That worked. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that one worked. Just eat it. I command the... Thank you. Thank you. That works. One down. One to go. And it's done. Let's go ahead and grab our reward. Man, I love how this game looks. Just want to say that right now. Just looks good. Also, what happened to the War Master? It's been a while. Oh, there it is. <gasps> oh no! Well, that's unfortunate. Let's try that again. Just have to walk for a little bit to get back. Ow. Ow. Stop comboing me. This combination of stuff right now is just... It's just not great. How? Why? Hey, can you uh, attack me, please? Well, that works. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Don't hit me. Don't you dare. How did I get hit and not take any damage? What just happened? That's weird. Alright, it's this room. I didn't need to go in this room, but apparently I thought I might as well anyway. Please just work by some crazy chance. You lousy so-and-so, those creeps were some of my best friends. You're still a terrible friend. Oh my goodness. This room is pointless. But, you know, I want to... I want map completion. Go in the hole. Uh, I need to go left first. Which actually makes a lot of sense considering the layout of the room. Oh no, this guy. Okay, I just need to get... Oh, he's going this way. Oh, why is he go straight into into me? Oh, he just turns around straight into me. Oh, I dodged him. Hang on, can I push him in the lava? Can I? Can I like get in the lava? Also, shielding is just overpowered now. Well, that works. I have the strategy now. Easy. I had lost two hearts, but easy. This is actually a fairly good room once you actually know how to just cheat. Hey, good memories from this room. Oh, probably won't have any good any memories from this room anymore. Since there's a thing trying to grab me and bombs. Oh, that nearly ended really badly. Go quickly, go quickly, go quickly. I think the wall master can also press things and flip switches. So that's gonna be interesting. Okay. Oh my goodness, the lava just eats the bomb. Tromp. Oh, this room with wall master. I didn't think about this. Obviously, it's a good combination if you want to challenge. Or if you want to challenge for somebody else. Because that's what I think would be the best part about making custom Zelda dungeons, is challenging other people to play through them. Also, I didn't need to wait for that. I could have just left. Oh my goodness, again. How did I put the same room next to itself twice? Huh. 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 Oh, bombs, thank you. 
my goodness, the strategy of just jumping is, seems to be working out for me. Let's go! Oh, hello. How do you be? Easy. Also, I just took damage, so let's see if that actually counted. It did! Yay! Is the War Master gonna reappear? I don't know. Oh my goodness, so many bats! Well, anyway, that is it for this episode of Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.